What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at an Apollo 10 picture here. This is, uh, if you watched my last video, this is actually right in line with some of the, uh, some of that video. Um, the, the pictures actually go with each other and I don't know what we're looking at here. It almost looks like we're looking at some sort of base here on the moon or some something that was, uh, Maybe outgassing something. I've heard of uh, outgassing, like uh, stuff leaving the moon. It almost looks like uh, some sort of cloud configuration or something like that on the moon. Now, on the record, it's not marked as anything, um, but this seems to be like a perfect circle here. And I've looked at both. This is the higher resolution of them because you know Apollo has so many out there that have been you know scanned. And this is on the lower res version too. You can't get much from the lower res other than. Uh, it looks to be something there, uh, whether this is, you can see, well, first off, you can see there's shadows to it. It almost looks like two circles, one here and one there. Um, I haven't seen an image artifact that looked like this before, especially one that produced what seemed to be sexual shadows or something along the line. Maybe this is something really bright that was on the moon and it, it, it made this, but this one of the another one of these one of these moon enigmas that I can't figure out. Here's where you get it from right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, I'll link that below. And uh, here's here's the you know the transcript for the Apollo 10 mission, and all you get from this one is longitude latitude scan courtesy of NASA Johnson. Nothing else. You don't get anything else from it. Um, but too cool. And it, what I also saw was up here on the right here seems to be kind of interesting too it almost looks like this right here has been uh worked differently compared to the landscape and it seems to have something kind of tucked away another little circles tucked away inside of there um, almost like a base or something you see how that actually uh let me see if i can give it a little bit of long a little bit of uh let's see image adjust exposure let's play with the contrast a little bit or the gamma whatever we play with a little both see if we can't get it to come out You see that there? See how the structure is like a circle here, and a smaller one, and maybe another little smaller one, and then here, and it goes down and around. It just kind of looks like it's tucked into the top of this, uh, whatever this is. It looks like it's just a top of a mountain hill or a top of a hill, and it's kind of dug into it. I don't know. This one's one of those mysteries for me. This is one that, like I said, I haven't seen too much out there. I'm sure some other websites have gotten this one over time. But what do you guys think this is? Leave me another one. This one's too cool. It almost looks like something being cloaked. And this was the one that was close to these two. Let me go back to the... Uh, we'll go, but we'll go back to here real fast and show you what it was close to. This was one that was close to the one that said it was Mylar. So if you go check out the one behind me, the one I had just done. This is like three shots right after we took this. Um, so, well here, I'll show you the whole thing. And it's not a... Like I said, it's, it's not listed under there as any anomaly or anything. Usually if there's something weird there, they uh, will say something about it, but nothing. Now let's see if we can't play with the contrast and stuff on this one real fast. Just see if we come up with anything. Anything different, anything weird about it. Let's drop the brightness down and the contrast start going up with it. Oh, when you start doing that, you kind of come into play. It does look kind of, kind of look like there's a... Uh, some lines here see the lines through here they come in and it looks like there's one two three small little buildings right here was this a uh, you, what really gets me and strikes me is how the it's perfectly circular it's almost like this is a very bright we've all heard of the bright flashes on the moon I am wondering this was one of them being caught um, and this is just the uh, lens couldn't handle it or reflections from the lens I mean, for as bright as the moon is, I mean, once I cancel this, you would think that if that had to stand out that much, that it was bright. And it's dead center in the picture. So whatever it is, obviously somebody saw it and was taking a picture of this. They, that's what they wanted to take a picture of. I mean, if you were going to do something dead center, you would think it, uh, if I was going to take a picture, I'd put it dead center in the photograph. And it's not like they had any uh, zoom-in lenses on these things, uh, especially back at Apollo 10. So... Let me know what you guys think. Much love. What's up in the sky at 37? This one's a mystery to me. Take it easy. Peace.